What's going on guys? So today I'm still working on the go-kart and we are going to be just uh, finishing up some of the fabrication stuff to move the caliper bracket to the other side. Um, so let me show you what I already did. So we got, if I can find it, well, I'll show you this first. So I went and fabricated this little bracket here. And so we're going to weld this onto the bottom piece. Uh, right down here where I just kind of prepped it. I don't know if you can see that too well, but so this bracket will go here. That's going to locate the bottom bolt for the caliper. And then what I did was I had cut on this side. There was that longer piece. I cut that on off and I uh, went ahead and put that. I'm, well, I'm going to weld that right here. So that'll permanently locate it over. So just working on finishing that. I'll show you some progress updates in a minute here. All right, so here's the uh, piece of uh, this brake caliper mount, basically it's just a glorified spacer, but cut it off from this side. Now got it transplanted here. Got this all prepped. I'm going to put some tacks in place. And then the same for the bottom bracket. We, uh, where's that thing at? Let's see if I can get in here a little better. So with this bottom bracket, uh, got this all in place too. It's all prepped. It's bolted on, so it's ready to go. And, uh, can spin this pretty freely so everything looks good lined up now I just got to get it burned in all right so now I've got the pieces all tacked in I removed the brake caliper now these are tacked on I'm gonna clean this up and I've got this bracket down here all uh, all done too so I'm gonna clean it up and to be able to finish weld this and then also throw some primer and some paint on it I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this whole axle on back out all right, so now I just finished getting it final welded, uh, cleaned it up a little bit with the flap disc, and now we're gonna hit it with some primer and then some paint, and uh, well, we'll be pretty good to go. Um, after that, we'll snip the, uh, the old axle back in there, and I'll probably go downstairs, start working on the engine, because I can't really do any more mock-up uh, where the engine's gonna sit. Well, two things. One, until I get the engine kind of completed so I can bring it back into the garage. Right now it's down in my workroom so I can pull the governor and, and do all that other stuff. But uh, I'm also waiting for the torque converter to come, so that won't be here until next week. So once that gets here, then I can actually put that on the motor and then I'll kind of set the whole motor in here, mock it up and everything. And uh, we'll see how it'll fit. But yeah, that was pretty simple. So luckily I had this uh, scrap piece of metal laying around um, from our uh, death cart car build. And uh, so I was able to just do that, pop that on there and you know salvage that piece. So pretty simple stuff but came out sweet. All right, fella grabbed some of the uh, best primer that's out there. Got her hit with the coat. So she's looking primered up. Let that dry and then we'll hit it with some paint. Also I went through my uh, spare paint can collection and wouldn't you know, I found uh, kind of a gray looking color that should match pretty good, so pretty sweet. So I went downstairs and grabbed the Go Power Sports engine plate for this uh, 440, and I just sat it on here. And actually, the cool part is it's long enough to already reach from this bar to this bar, um, so that's awesome. So I don't need any additional cross bracing. The only thing now is uh, just looking at the angle. Um, you know, that have that motor sitting on a real, real hard angle down. So uh, I still do think we're going to have to make a couple upright pieces off this bar, and then we can just weld right to it. So. Uh, you know, maybe just, uh, oh, it's a heavy girl. Just make her something. Yeah, she probably ain't got to be completely straight, but, oh, uh, you know what? We'll just make her level with the, uh, yeah, we'll make her level with the, uh, with the sidebars like that. So make a couple standoffs like that, weld her to it, bada boom, bada bing. We'll be good to go. And I can probably even make the standoffs with some of this scrap material here. Probably use that thick bar and. Cut that sucker in half, cut the brackets off, and I got a tubing notcher and stuff so I can actually notch that, make some nice looking stuff, but easy peasy. All right, so I got some paint, and like you can see, it matches pretty good. I uh, also pulled off the uh, little wheel mud guards. I think I'm gonna actually end up just popping off this whole subframe uh, once I get the actual, you know, once I start doing the mock-up of the engine and stuff, but like I was just saying, I'm just gonna put a couple standoffs up here so from this position to the top of this frame rail is about seven inches. 
Um, so I don't quite have enough material because what I'm trying to do is just reuse the original uh, piece of metal that I cut off. So this is 12 inches, so I can make two six inch standoffs, um, which will get me pretty much parallel. Uh, with this so you know the engine would be one inch down which I think is fine I think the engine is slightly down this little small engine yeah, it doesn't matter so uh, so it's gonna be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and at least get this all cut I'm not welding anything until of course we can uh, get the torque converter mounted on the motor and kind of find out where the location of the brackets are because my sprocket is not movable so once this is bolted back in place my sprocket location on the axle is fixed so I've got to make sure the engine is, uh, you know, going to be in the right spot. So, obviously, I've never done this before, right? So that's why I want to get the engine and just kind of make sure before I go ahead and burn everything in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and uh, get that going. All right, so I cut those couple pieces, and I just got them sitting here. It's just resting. Obviously, this is definitely not anywhere is going to be the final uh, resting place. They're just kind of sitting here, but. Um, actually, this works out perfect. It's almost like uh, Zircon, it, you know, wanted this to happen, right? So this little piece under here, this tube, actually will allow the end of the plate to sit here. And then, of course, I can weld it all the way across, and then I can put some welds where that bar is touching under there. So this will be perfectly strong. And then I'll weld in these two supports. But basically, this gets it pretty much completely flat. And... Uh, Actually, a little bit lower than the side rails, which is good. So to keep the weight down a little bit lower. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, we may have to do a little finagle on left to right here. But that's going to be pretty much it.